what we're going to make next is a buffer station. Um, got this old motor, pretty cool, 1962. Uh, let me see it. Yeah, it's a pretty cool old motor. So. I want to build a buffer station and I know that buffing compound goes every freaking where. I've got to wire it but my thinking is since we do sheet metal um, I'm gonna just make a sheet metal box and put a light in it with a switch and have a lighted buffer station. Uh, I think I'm gonna put the light back on this side of it or this side, whichever way I put this thing. Um, I don't know if this is a counterclockwise or clockwise motor, but that's the idea. do 24 inches and I left a one inch overhang and I'm just going to cut it off and Alright, I've got my big break out and just did a cross break to make this thing stronger. Push the button over. There we go. All right, here's what I got so far. This thing is a pain in the ass. The video, and I mean, all it is is just square pieces I'm breaking it to make it stronger spot welding it um, you know wet don't come apart but 
this thing is horrific to uh, to film. And I'll, I'll try to film laying out the other two pieces and then cutting them and then the breaking it. But when you're here in the shop by yourself, it kind of makes it a little bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, and I ain't that good at this shit yet, so we'll figure it out. All right, got it built. And now I'm just going to spray it with some uh, gloss green. And just to make it a little bright, I got some lights for inside of it. And I've got to wire the motor, build a stand for it. Uh, because it's, it's too low right now. And just get everything mounted. Pretty much, pretty much easy. First coat. What I'm going to do now is go mount this board to the tabletop. thing we're going to do is get our base put it in y'all yeah. wire this motor up I'm not gonna get too crazy with it I'm 54 year old and This Klein crimp tool was my grandfather's. Which was pretty cool. My dad and my grandfather are both electricians. I'm electrician. Sparky, as we like to say. Yeah, there ain't there ain't a whole lot you can do 
on these type motors. And I'm not installing it for somebody, so. And that will work just fine for what we're going to do with it. All right, now I'm going to go back over there and put the brackets back on it. And set it in the hole. Okay, got two neutrals, and so the hot is going to go down here from the plug. And this is a, this is the motor. Gotta mount the uh, switches and stuff for the uh, lights. And here you go. So, I think it turned out pretty good. Of course, we're gonna do a little bit more to it but that's the that's the basic setup and it's pretty cool ought to make buffing stuff a little easier and I didn't have a buffer set up so it'd be nice <laughs> <laughs>